These days, people are paying more attention than ever to the invisible pollution around us at home. And there are lots of new inventions that can scrub the air and destroy the pollution. And if you have watched this channel, you've probably heard us say that until more research is done, most of those are a bad idea for homes. They can turbocharge indoor chemistry and create unpredictable chemical byproducts, almost none of which have been studied. What's always better is to test first, so you know what kind of pollution you're dealing with, where, and when. There are now widely available affordable measurement devices that will show you a basic readout of some common pollutants in your air, and they'll even send you a text or an email to alert you that something needs to be done. But, but one of the most promising developments for healthier homes today looks like this. This is Overture. Brown has just released a system that includes a room sensor, a smart plug, and a wall control that links to an app. It's the first brain that you can build into any home to manage your ventilation. Ah, kind of like thermostats manage heating and cooling automatically, and a lot of us have been begging for a tool like this for a while, so thank you. Now we can start playing with it. We're gonna go deep into this and nerd out on specifics, but all you need to know to start with is Overture is a network of air sensors and controls that can be configured in different homes to do different things to improve air quality. Here's a pretty different kind of home to start with. This is our tiny lab, which is our 200 square foot tiny house, which our family lived in for five years while we were touring the country and building the big house. And because we built this so airtight, the Brone ventilation system needed to be balanced with every bit of air exhausted also being intentionally replaced. As we hope you know, Every home in the world needs exhaust from both cooking and bathing areas, and the sensors in Overture could control for something as simple as that. Brown actually built some of the first humidity spike sensors into bath fans years ago. If we wanted to make sure that our kitchen exhaust hood activated every single time the cooktop was used, we could install an Overture wall switch right here near the cooktop, but they've also developed a new infrared heat sensing range hood that activates based on heat. So this would be unnecessary if we had that. What Overture makes possible is a much bigger, more complex control of performance, just like an Overture is the prelude to a much bigger piece of music. What happens in these sensors and switches and in the software's algorithms sets off a bunch of customizable, coordinated movements in the many ventilation instruments there might be in a home. The first step, obviously, is to have sensors. The idea behind Overture is basically to put a nose in any room where it's needed. The room sensors and wall controls are literally sniffing the air every 10 seconds for changes to what's in your air. Put these in the pathway of indoor air pollution. The next step that's been missing until now is that when the air in your home changes, the sensors can take action. These sensors talk to each other and to the software app to turn on or turn up your ventilation systems. And the different parts of your ventilation system can now talk to each other about what they're doing and about what's going on outdoors. Because it's connected to the cloud, Overture can know if it's too hot, cold, humid, dry, smoky, or polluted outside to depend on for fresh air. Let's talk about the sensors. These Overture sensors have a life expectancy of 10 years, which is awesome compared to other consumer sensors that are available today. Now, these report temperature, humidity, TBOC, which is like odors, and PM 2.5, which are these tiny toxic particles floating around. By the way, particles are always toxic to breathe. The wall control also measures eCO2, or equivalent CO2, which is calculated based on the odor levels. It assumes that the main reason smells might be building up in the air is because of people, and accordingly estimates that the amount of exhaled CO2 is probably going up. Now, there are some situations when this might not be true, but if we just need to know whether the air quality is generally getting better or worse, 
this will cover that. And they couldn't fit the actual CO2 sensor in here and keep it this small, but they did put a true CO2 sensor into the bigger room sensor. So you can actually have that carbon dioxide measurement to work with too, separately from odor or TBOC level. You probably want a few of these sprinkled around. And by the way, this is just a replacement outlet, meaning you're not losing a regular outlet by plugging this into the room. This smart plug is where you'd plug your 120 volt supply fan, ERV or HRV. You also have a 24 volt control wire port on the side to increase ventilation and fresh air intake. And the wall control is for controlling anything you'd normally hardwire via a switch. Bath fans, laundry fans, or kitchen exhaust hoods that are on their compatibility list, which this one is in the tiny lab. Right now, the smart plug is ready to be used with supply fans and makeup dampers, ERVs and HRVs, but because this hardware was developed using standard HVAC connections, in the future, this could work with other products like humidifiers, dehumidifiers, air handlers, and really any other devices we'd like better control of. In the app, you can set up multiple homes with the overture modules and your ventilation devices nested in dedicated rooms. This is the brain, the algorithms that take all the available information and then make decisions that you can program, although there are default settings that you can trust as well. Let's talk about a few ways we can use this system here in the homes we built. We originally set up this tiny lab for continuous ventilation, meaning all the fans except for the kitchen hood would run 24 seven when we lived here every day. The benefit of continuous ventilation is that everything is predictable. The amounts and directions of the air flows and pressure imbalances. That was a great solution when we lived here full time. Two adults, two kids, two cats with a litter box and a diaper pail. Mm. But now this is our part time office and editing suite. So we might not be here for days in a row. So now, the constant fresh air in and stale air out strategy is not just unnecessary, it's actually a liability, both for energy waste and more importantly for humidity control. It's a lot smarter now to move to demand controlled ventilation, which only activates when the air needs to be cleaned or exchanged. In our forever home, which we've now moved into, we have two spaces that are completely separated from each other. You can learn more about that when you watch Home Diagnosis Season 2. And our studio has the same situation. If we run an ERV continuously in here, we have to run a dehumidifier in the wet, warm months and a humidifier in the cold, dry months. And if you don't know what an ERV is, we're linking a video on screen now. And because we have a ductless mini split heating and cooling this space, we added filtration to clean the air because those don't do a serious job of filtration. There's a loop that pulls stale air from this end into a HEPA filter and carbon filter for odors and pushes cleaned air out over there. The main pollutant in this space is us. So I can remember to hit this timer to turn that system on manually, or I can let the Overture room sensor take care of that automatically by communicating with the smart plug down in the crawl space. And here's something even more sophisticated we can now do with the ERV under the main living space in this house because the room sensors can talk to each other. What if I'm the only one home and I'm working in one of the bedrooms, exhaling and polluting like any other human being? Do we really need to bring fresh air in from outside for the whole house? Or can we just cycle the fresh air from the other rooms of the house in here. Now, this is why Brone is building a recirculate mode into their balanced ventilation systems, because why work to condition the air from the outside that's too warm or cold or wet or dry when there's all this perfectly clean air already in here that just needs to be shuffled around? Because all of this software and hardware can be updated, we'll be seeing some pretty interesting developments as we all get smarter about what exactly our goals are for healthy homes and more elegant ways to achieve them. Really, a system like this is only limited by your imagination. Mm -hmm. So if you have any comments or questions, please post them below. We address those personally. Like and subscribe. Tune in next time.